let's go ahead and go to the um, uh, pop shop. Love it, pop shop. Let's try to install some uh, more pieces of software and see what happens. Uh, let's go to audio. Let's try Audacious, something lightweight. Okay, we'll click install. Okay. Authentication. I'm using the uh, super key. Now again, as a full install, this should run uh, noticeably faster. But I'm satisfied so far running Pop! OS in a virtual machine. Uh, with somewhat limited uh, RAM resources, this, this particular desktop only has 4 gigs of RAM. It's, I, sh I, sh I should have more, but it runs, so. Okay, so looks like it installed. Let's see if we can fire it up. So we're looking for Audacious. There we go. Very good. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, try something else. And let's try something from, let's see, maybe internet. Aurora, I am not familiar with that web browser, so let's try it. So install. And we'll see what this looks like. Looks like there's a bear on top of the globe there. Let's fire. Let's go. Let's just click activities. And what is it? A. R. Aurora. Accessories, maybe? Alarm clock. Let's try alarm clock. Install. All right, let's check out the alarm clock. All right, simple alarm clock, I guess. Alarm clock, timer, very good. So, the Pop Shop, pretty straightforward. <laughs> Great name, the Pop Shop. Sounds like a a store for like you know dads and pops like sporting or something store but this is simple to navigate through home updates um yeah simple is the word for the pop shop well as far as pop os goes i'm going to keep it in my virtual machine uh, it seems all right um, besides the extensions issue Pop OS seems to work okay, so I'll uh, continue testing this and let you guys, uh, I'll keep you uh, abreast of updates for Pop OS from Denver-based System76.